President Paul Kagame has described Rwanda as a country that could not sink into divisionism. That may lead to the genocide because for the past 27 years, authorities have promoted inclusive politics without discrimination. The head of state reiterated this in an exclusive interview with Al Jazeera. Ethan Tashira begins our coverage tonight. The president of Rwanda, Paul Kagame, talks to Al Jazeera. During the interview, which took place at Village Ruguilo and lasted for about 25 minutes, President Paul Kagame answered questions from Al Jazeera's Al Al Dafiri on a variety of topics including politics, Rwanda's development, governance, Rwanda's foreign relations and more. While discussing the steps taken to build a new Rwanda, President Kagame said that for the past 25 years, the country has built a policy and administration that gives hope for the future. And there is no fear that the history of the genocide against the Tutsi can be repeated. Uh, truly, we have come from far, uh, uh, almost to uh, non-existence, to now where we are, we, the country is stable, it's peaceful, we're making progress, there is growth, there is development, uh, people are coming back together, the country was so divided in the past, now there is unity in the country, uh, so I think progress is on. There is still a lot of work to do. We have to, a long journey to travel to be where we want to be. What are the guarantees that Rwanda will not return to these very difficult days? Well, because we are not working towards that. We are to working towards something else. Uh, we do it in a sustainable manner. And it is sustainable because of one, the people themselves that get involved and understand the need for doing what they are doing. Two, uh, it brings stability uh, and continue to build on that. So we concentrated on building a foundation, we build institutions. We also uh, tried to create a mindset change. Uh, generally for our people. Journalist Al Al Dafiri also asked the president what he thought of accusations against Rwanda of not giving a platform to the opposition and not tolerating dissidents. President Kagame slammed the claims. The opposition exists. The opposition means uh, people uh, having different views about governance, about uh, whatever is happening in the country. Even if they were 10 and were pursuing different lines of thinking, political thinking, they converge on one thing out of them. That's my expectation. They converge on the well-being of the people and also the stability of the country they did. I think on that one, they don't disagree. I don't think there would be anyone called the opposition and that is understood as being opposed to the established arrangement that is there at that time, thinking that, no, I want to remove these ones and bring instability to the country. So in other words, those are things they converge on. So in our case, uh, we have also had that anyway in our history. We have had instability. And we have had instability at a time in fact, uh, these different parties, called opposition parties, had emerged. And uh, all of them participated in that instability. All the parties. This genocide you hear about, that happened 27 years ago, it doesn't matter which side they were coming from. So there was no opposition, so-called, which you mentioned, that stood up and said, no, we can't go down this road. They actually each participated in that. Why would you think that happened? So I'm trying to bring to your attention the fact that uh, each country has its own context and circumstances in which to operate. Therefore, you don't want to establish just a template and say every country must follow this way of doing things.
In the interview, the president also answered questions about the activities of the Rwandan armed forces in the Central African Republic and Mozambique, where they have been deployed for almost five months to fight terrorists that have devastated the province of Cabo Delgado. Reporting for RTV News, Ethan Tashabia.